Thank you for watching this video. This tutorial video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com, your one-stop QuickBooks online learn and share blog. So in this video, I'm going to focus on how to link expenses to specific customers' clients. Linking expenses to customers or clients. So I'm on uh, QuickBooks Online homepage here. So to manually enter transaction, normally you go to either expense, check, bill, uh, and open vendor form. Let's say expense. See right now you don't see any customers column in here. Normally you would see in here. Or if you open check, same thing. You don't see customer column in there. Same thing with bill. Nothing here. So these are manually entering uh, uh, expense transactions. And how about uh, uh, syncing your your uh, bank account to QuickBooks? Normally you come here, transactions banking, and uh, you don't see any customer linking here. Okay. So the reason is you need a plus plan to have uh, uh, customer linking uh, in QuickBooks Online. So if you have, uh, uh, let's say, Essentials plan, so if you have Essentials plan or Simple plan, Simple Start, uh, you know, you don't have that feature. So you need QuickBooks Online Plus. So once you have QuickBooks uh, Online, top of the line plus plan, uh, and if you don't see it, that means you have to change your settings in here. You have to go to setup and change it. So your company gear, upper right corner, you go to settings and select expenses. And so this is the one, bills and expenses, track expenses and items by customer. So right now it's off, turn this on. And if you're gonna build uh, expense to your customer, then you have to select this one as well. Uh, this gets us to do the uh, tracking expenses by customers. On, and you saved it. Okay, now if you go back and click this expense form, you will see customer in here. Same thing with uh, other two forms. Right here, customer. Uh, if you're writing check. And if you're entering bill and paid later, same thing. Customer here. Okay, how about uh, uh, syncing your uh, bank account to QuickBooks and you want to uh, in, uh, add transaction from here, from banking. It's right here. So this is the one. Adding your customer. Okay, let's just say you want to uh, add one customer. This, let's say this... Uh, uh, $25 has to do with uh, a one customer expense. Let's say Adam Anderson, the first one. Let's add it. Okay, let's say this is also the same thing. Uh, Adam Anderson. Uh, okay, let's add it. Okay, so this one you already entered it. And if you want to check to see, uh, you know, you want to add customer, then all I have to do is open this. It'll take you to your original uh, entry and just select uh, Adam Anderson now. So as you can see, you have already entered three expense related to Ad Adam Anderson. So now you just want to run a report. Re running report is very easy. Reports, there are several uh, reports actually. I'm just going to run one. Let's say income. As you can see, uh, income by customer summary. Income by customer summary. Click that one. Adam Anderson is your customer. As you can see here, the expenses in here. Just click that one. And so the ones we enter, they are here now. They all, all the expenses are here now. So this is the one we enter. And this one and that one. So that's how uh, you need to link expenses to specific customer. Link expenses to specific customer. It's very easy. So when you manually enter it, just select customer right here. 
or if you are syncing your bank account you know just do the same way and uh, so now you have an income statement uh, that will show you uh, your expenses related to a specific customer that's pretty easy well thank you for watching this video uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel we have two channels VP controller VP controller and new key view new key view like us on Facebook and visit our website thank you